Well, here we are this morning on our Cobia 237 center console. If you take a few minutes with me this morning, we're going to walk through the boat, show you the entire boat. And uh, this has quickly become one of our best sellers. It's a new model. Uh, been around for now for a year or so. And uh, wonderful boat. It's, a, it's 23 foot 7 inches. Um, just a great all around package. We'll start up here at the bow. You can see flush hardware forward. A very large oversized anchor locker. Got to have a place to keep your anchor, keep your anchor ball, keep lots of road, lots of chain. Here it is right here. Drains out, drains overboard. Works very, very well. All compression latches all throughout the boat, as you can see here. Makes a nice tight fit. Big open area up here, so if you want to throw your cast net, you can stand up here and throw a cast net. In the bow, I'd like you to take note of a completely flush handrail. Goes all the way around the bow, 360 degrees. You can see it starts back here, runs all the way forward, so you have access to this handrail all the way around the boat, which is very nice. It's continuing on in the bow, two big storage boxes, one on both sides, one on this side, one on this side. Very nice, big areas, huge areas to store things. You can use them for whatever you'd like to store. Again, compression latches on each hatch. This also, you have an option, you can cushion this whole front area. There's also a, a fill-in piece that goes here, make this a sun lounge up here. But also, that, that piece is removable, so you, again, you have 360 degree fishability all the way around the boat, full access. Moving aft on the boat, please take note of this large storage area. Huge, huge area here. PFDs, cast nets, whatever you'd like to store here. Again, compression latch, big has, big gutters all the way around the latch. You also have a, throughout the boat, you'll also see you have a pneumatic gas shock. Assist in lifting the lid. Assist in keeping it down. You can see it goes down. Compression latches all the way down. LED lights all throughout the bow. Nice mood lighting here. Drink holders, you can't have too many of them. It's a nice area to sit. Nice area for storage. Moving aft on the 237 center console. We move back to the console area. Take note of the T-top. Very substantial T-top. Very heavy duty. With a Weblon material on the top. All of our T-tops come with a rail all the way around. You also have an area here to mount outriggers if you'd like. On the console itself, big seating area here. Fit two people here if you'd like. Play, great place for kids to sit. And under here is a built-in cooler that opens from the front. Right here, great big oversized cooler. All nice cushions right here. On the console moving aft, you can see you have a you have a window here to give you some light in there for your optional porta potty or optional china head. Big oversized windshield. Moving aft on the console, back to the control area. Great big area up here. This is a real nice spot. You can store charts, you can store all kinds of things up here. Big lip here so things don't slide off. Also take note on the console, just like with all of our consoles throughout the Cobia line, we make a large area here for flush mounting electronics. A lot of people want to mount two units these days. You have plenty of room to do so. See, we move the gauges over here where they're easy to see, easy to read. These are the Yamaha, uh, these are the Yamaha upgraded gauges, very nice. Your control area here, this is all new for, for this year also. New switch panel, all LED lighted. This whole thing is backlit. So in the evenings at night when you're running, this is all backlit. Whenever you engage a switch, it has an LED light on the end so you can see what's working, what's not. Of course, your Yamaha binnacle. More drink holders here. Moving down on the console. Big storage area here. This is nice. Store all kinds of things in there, wallets, keys, whatever you'd like. Again, latch right here at the top. Also, take note on the console, something we do throughout the Cobia line, is this toe kick, which is very nice. Makes it, makes it very, very comfortable. So if you want to kind of lock yourself in, you also have room under here. So if you want to put your feet under, Passengers also have a place to lock themselves in right here. Very nice. Of course, this is a, again, big oversized console. We have a mounting area here for your compass. Big T-top that has down lighting. You can see here on the top, you've got an LED down light, which makes it nice. Also, LED lights on the back for rod holders across the back. Just a real nice setup. Again, big oversized top, mounted very nicely. Moving aft on the, on the 237 center console, here's your standard leaning post. Which is nice, you have four rod holders right here. You also have a storage area underneath. This is throughout the line, this is a real nice piece. And you, you know, when you're out in the boat in the morning, 
put your wallet, put your keys, put your cell phone in here. I keep all my fishing stuff here, things that I need to get to quickly. Right here, it's very nice and easy to get to. Latches back down. Again, your full seat, ready to go. Moving aft, I want you to take note here. First thing I want you to take note of is how wide this boat is. It's a big 23. You can see here, starting on this side, walking across, it's very beamy. On each side, you have these covering boards, these gunnel boards, where you can lock yourself in. If you're fighting a fish right here, you can kind of put your feet under. A lot of boats don't have this. A lot of boats make you kind of lean over right here. Not a good thing to do. Just locks you in right here. Of course, the standard pads right here, which makes it nice. You can lock your knees in real tight right here. Of course, rod holders, you can't have too many of them. On both sides back here in the aft cockpit, you have two storage boxes. These better known as fish boxes, if you'd like. Optional macerator pumps, one on each side. Big, big oversized fish boxes, again, with the pneumatic lifts on them, so it keeps the lid up. Look at this side here. I'll open this side for you. You can see the lift a little better. But great big oversized fish boxes. This is nice. It keeps the lid up. You know, you gaff a dolphin or something, gaff a Kobe, he's going crazy, you can slide him in and not worry about how to hold that lid up, holds it up for you. Again, goes back down, compression latches, so it locks it real tight. And those are very well insulated, which is nice. We foam them before we put the hull and deck together. Makes a nice insulated fish box. Please also take note, you have undergunner rod storage on both sides, which is a great feature. You can store, your, well, you can store a couple rods under there, you can store your scrub brush, whatever you'd like. Let me close this up. Close this fish box up on this side. You have room for another cooler under here if you'd like. Storage under there, however you want to do it. Okay. Another great feature on the Cobia 237 center console is the oversized here in the, here in the console. Great big area in here. This one has the optional full head in it. Um, you can see it's a great big open area in here. Get down in there, six footer, six, first and six foot tall can stand up in there. Again, with the head in there, you also have full access. I know you can't see that from here, but full access to the back side of your console from in here. So if you need to get to anything on the back side, you need to get to your electronic hookups, all those yeah. things. Very nice area. You can also, another, another feature of this that most people don't realize, if you want to store your rods in here, like overnight or something, this does lock. You store your stand-up rods in here, fully locking here. Nice area, gives you some privacy. Just a nice, just a nice feature of this boat. Moving aft on the 237 Cobia Center Console, I want you to take note back here. This is a great feature. You've got, you know, a lot of boats you go on, really difficult to get into build area, really difficult to get to your wiring and things. The aft seating also acts as a, as, and I'll show you that, this aft seating works very well. The seat comes up, like so. Great place to sit when you're running. Um, just a, a, a very comfortable area. This is the most comfortable area of the boat to ride, obviously. The real nice feature here is this stows away. And then you have full access, okay? Full access under here to get to all of your all of your bilge pumps and wiring and fuel filters and all these things are under here. Uh, just makes it real easy to work on things. Makes it real easy to get to things. This is a great feature. Of course, you have the backrest here. This removes if you like. You can stow this away. Two more rod holders here. Put that back in. And moving over to live well, take note of this. This is a big, deep live well. You can see how thick the plexi is, has an O-ring, gasketed seal all the way around it, so you're not getting any slosh when this thing's full. This is very deep, you can see here. See how deep that is all the way down to the bottom there. This is a great live well, works extremely well. Of course, moving back a little further, you have your through gate here, which gives you full access to the stern. Every boat comes with a built-in boarding ladder, which is right here. This is a nice feature, it stows away. Simply open this. Ladder goes over, three-step ladder, boom, you're done. Stows away nice so when you're not using it, there you have it. This particular boat is packaged with the, the new Yamaha F250. Uh, you can also, if you'd like, we also rig them with twins, twin 115s, and it will take up to a 300. So we're rigging the majority of them with the 250s, 300s. Occasionally we do them with twins if you guys are running a little further offshore and want the, want the, uh, want the two engines back there. But just a great all-around package. This is a... Uh, like I say, a very, very nice rig. It's quickly become one of our best sellers. Um, a big 23, it's 23.7, a very beamy boat. Just does a great job all around, does a lot of things very, very well. We're also gonna stop in the, into the manufacturing facility where Scott Deal's gonna take you through the hull design of this boat. It's a new design built from the ground up. 
So do yourself a favor, get down to your local Cobia dealer, take a look at the new Cobia 237 center console. When people are buying a boat, oftentimes they never get a chance to look at the actual bottom of the boat. The bottom's the most important part because, like the tires in your car, it's what you actually ride on in, in the water. We're here at the Cobia factory, and we just pulled this 237 out of the dunk tank in QC. You'll notice in the forward section of the boat how fine this entry is. Fine is a marine term for sharp. A fine entry is a very sharp entry, as opposed to a more blunt or possibly rounded entry. A fine entry, just like a sharp knife, is going to cut through the water much quicker, cleaner, and with less disruption to your ride. We carry this fine entry all the way back to the transom where you can notice, if you look down here, we have a very, very sharp V. Above that, and from the chines up, you'll also notice that we have a nice wide flare which helps take whatever spray does come up and deflect it away from the cockpit and helps keep you dry. When, you, when you're riding in your Cobia and you notice how soft the boat rides and, and how dry the boat is, it's because of these features, the fine entry, the deep dead rise carried all the way aft, as well as the flare, which together in combination give that superior ride and stability that has made this hull so famous.